Yo, what's up everyone? JP checking in line, man. RespectMyRegion.com. Coming at you guys live from the 2024 showroom floor, Flower Expo, Greenfield, Massachusetts. I got Tina, Bountiful Farms in the building, but we're in a tent and it's raining. It's a, it is a nice day. It's cool. Yeah. How has day two been going for you, Tina? Day two has been going good. Not as much foot traffic. Kind of stinks that they closed half of it water happens but you know we've been making the most of it having our little dab bar set up outside which is awesome i love it i love it i'm happy to hear that you guys are helping provide some good tasty terps for the people talk to me about brownful farms if you guys are doing a dab bar i'm assuming rosin or other forms of oil what what do y'all do we have our solventless live hatch rosin out there we have a couple strains going on which is really good stuff we really specialize in rosin these days. We have high quality flour made from the best stuff. I mean, we use canna soil. We got all the good stuff going on, making sure that we get the best products to receive the best products, you know? I love it. We make sure anything that goes out is top tiers. To have good rosin, you need good inputs, right? 100%. Good, uh, good flour in, good oil out, in theory, yep. in theory. Yep. Now, your team, you got a pretty strong team. Very strong. Can you tell me a little bit about the brand and who makes, and who makes up the company? So we have our head cultivator, Zach Taylor. We think it's ZT. We all call him ZT. 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 Very, very great guy. Awesome guy. Um, we are, I came from the grow. So I was in the trim room for two and a half years and trim lead for about one and a half. And honestly, everybody there, it is such a great community. Like every time we're walking in the hallway, everybody just says hi. We're all super happy, bubbly people. And we're all passionate about the product because we know how legit it is. We know. Absolutely. The heart, the soul, I mean, it's just the effort that goes into making the product that we do to make sure it is that top notch that people will be impressed by is just great. Like the energy is unreal in that place. That's, that's good to hear too. We sh shout out to company culture. There is no SOP for culture, but you can create things and uh, help establish an environment through SOPs and through be behavior, how you act, how you treat other people. Yeah. So that's very positive to hear. Yeah. What, uh, in terms of the products, you know, what are you, what are you guys most known for? What do you, what do you enjoy selling? What do you enjoy providing to the people? Honestly, I like providing people with a good elevated experience that they know they're going to remember. We have a lot of people out there who are impressed and impressioned by our straight. A lot of people love our cheese whiz that we're known for. Uh, we just came out with an MSQ that's high testing, about 30 is all in. It's like, it is some high top notch stuff. Uh, but Joe, we definitely like to have, we like to know our strains as well. So we know specifically how much to water them, what to water them, how often, how often to check on them, whether we're tucking them or not. We really learn what works well with what. So it comes out to be the best product. I like hearing how much effort we guys put into the curation and the product development. I think that's really important to be intentional about those yeah. elements of not just in business, but cannabis and these products. Uh, it's not just the same beverage in a can all the time. There's a lot of these other products that it's hard to replicate identically. Uh -huh. uh, rosin, you can't replicate identically. Flour, same thing, right? Yeah. Um, You've been doing real good with our hatch. I mean, like, every event we go to, we always get the mask bar. Everybody knows our hatch. It's just like some just real good quality stuff. It hits super smooth. The smell profile on it is more easy flow. Like, you get some crazy notes of anything in there. It's like, it really triggers your brain. It kind of like nostalgia feel of like, yeah. what I remember that smelling like. It's super cool. I love that. I think it's very individual. I, I can feel your passion and excitement for it. I know you must be dabbing often and it's got to be pretty tasty. That's right. I am a You're flower girl, yeah. but I do love taking a dab. There we go. Oh, good. But big shout out to Tina here for stopping by, sharing a, a little bit of information about Bountiful Farms. If you guys are in Massachusetts, make sure you support the team. What products? Do you have any of the products here with you? We do. We have some flour. We have some concentrates out there as well. Go. Make sure you guys stop by the next time. Pull up on them. You guys will have to tune in. Maybe we'll get some reviews going. Yeah, we got the living room. Flower Expo 2024. Bountiful Farms, Tina. We'll see you on the next one. Love you guys. Catch you later. Peace.